Um, but great neighborhood, great schools, great location, very safe neighborhood, very hot. Everything here is going very high, very fast, and we hope to continue that trend here as well. I think we sold that house next door for 270, 279. Uh, this one we got for 107, and uh, so hopefully we're around somewhere around 250 with this house. Yeah, the problem with the what? <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? So we're at a property that we've renovated. Um, and this is, I think this one was in one of our previous videos. This is one we picked up for like 107 or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it was. The renovations are pretty much done. Uh, Dave is here to take pictures. So I'm just coming to see the walkthrough. Last time I was here, they started and now they're done. So I'm gonna come walk through and look at it, and see what it is. All right, so this is, uh, I think we have footage, so maybe flash back to some of the footage when they first started this. Anytime there's original hardwood floors and we can salvage them, we keep them. One, cheaper sometimes, but two, it just, I mean, you can't beat original hardwoods. Um, full kitchen update. I'm pretty sure this wasn't here before, so this is a new opening to give it the uh, open look here. Granite countertops, brand new cabinets throughout the entire kitchen. This is obviously not original hardwood. We try to get as best possible to match the original. Got the dining room here. Nice, nice backsplash. Um, bright, I like how bright it is. If there was popcorn on the ceilings, it has been removed. And so you focus a lot on your kitchens and your bathrooms when it comes to renovating these older homes. Uh, pretty decent sized bathroom here. New, new everything. New toilet, new vanities, sinks. Um, looks like they kept the same tub. Let me see, is this a new tub? No, same tub, new hardware, but now they put tile all over um, instead of doing like a plastic tub surround. And this is common, we've done so many of these. I don't even have to come to really see these. Just want to show you guys real quick. Um, yep, so this is going to be your master here. Master, ba master bedroom with a half bath. Everything's brand new in here. New tile on the floor, new vanities, new toilets. The new, everything's new. This is a real hot neighborhood. Things have been flying off the shelf, basically. This bathroom's super nice. Yeah, real, real nice bathroom. They did a real good job. I'm pretty sure we have some before pictures of that too. And then there's gotta be a basement here. Nas and I have been putting out free content for years and you've probably been watching, wanting to get into wholesaling real estate. Don't worry, Nas and I finally decided to put out a course in a step-by-step -step format and making it simple for you to learn how to wholesale. Now make your life easy and click the link. Yep, so full basement. And on this one, we, we elected not to do like a full renovation. We elected not to do a full renovation, like put all new, like, uh, you know, uh, drywall and all that stuff. But we did, yeah, so we did, we did do the floors. It does have a small one car garage here. And then also a basement entrance. And then you can see how hot it is across the street. That's a full renovation going on there. And then we did that house next door too. So we did that one like a, uh, maybe a year ago. And then you can see they, it looks like they done some uh, landscaping and added some hardscape to the backyard. I remember that house. That's the house with the bunker in the back. Yeah. And so, yeah. So all of this is new. Francis finally did some landscape and I'm pretty sure that was his wife's idea because he does not do that. But fairly, it's a, that's a good entertainment. You got a flat, 
You got a flat back area here. Good area to grill. You've got a, you know, a decent sized yard, all brick home. You know, personally, I would have painted the brick, but I understand this house had a lot of renovations to go under because it was in pretty bad shape. But we picked it up for 107. Not sure of the renovation budget yet, but I can find out later. And then hopefully this gets above asking plus multiple offers, but you just never know. And while Bentley just marks every tree and bush possible, it's not your house, bro. Um, but great neighborhood, great schools, great location, very safe neighborhood, very hot. Everything here is going very high, very fast. And we hope to continue that trend here as well. I think we sold that house next door for 270, 279. On uh, this one we got for 107. And uh, so hopefully we're around somewhere around 250 with this house. That one's a little bit bigger. The basement's fully done on that house too. So we'll see what happens. And, you know, as you go through neighborhoods and you start renovating and flipping one house, this house, and we got two more, one around the corner, Ebert Road. Um, you start to see the neighborhood start to become, and you typically were the first ones in the neighborhood to take it like to the top value. And then so once we do that, then investors feel comfortable to come in here. But you know, I've been doing this for a while, Francis and I have been doing this for a while, and I rarely visit these houses anymore. You know, just because we've automated the business and I have other investments in the other companies. So real estate's still my foundation, but I don't have to visit these anymore and that's complete automation because I love to work on the business and not in it and when you have good partners or when you have good employees you don't have to spend as much time doing the nuances you know I did this I remember days where I would dig ditches at properties to save money but now we're fully automated where I don't have to do those things and we got a great team so 